I think their biggest obstacle is on Monday nights. And uh, and the truth is, they'll never overcome that obstacle. But uh, you never have to. You know, this is a race where coming in second is very respectable because there's only two runners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so and so the fact that you know I, I don't follow the ratings the ratings anymore, but Vince probably hadn't boomed up and up and up in ratings either. I mean, I don't know that, and maybe one of you guys knows better than I do. But but it's as long as it hadn't gone down, they've kept that fan base, and they're the only other show on the on the market, man. So so I think they gotta maybe not focus on trying to catch the guy in the lead and just focus on running their race. And maybe they're doing that. I really thought Hogan would would give them more of a boost just because he's Hulk Hogan and that name means something in professional wrestling. And I I believe that. I was I'm a big Hogan supporter. He's not only was nice to us, but he's you know he's he was the man before there were men there was Hulk Hogan yeah. in this business and so so you got to give the dude credit and uh and Eric Bischoff is a lot of people don't like him but he's a genius when I sat in on the production meetings with him at TNA for a short period and he knows what he's doing around uh, uh television wrestling production he knows what he's doing and uh maybe if he would focus more on the production side and not do so many promos but you know what they didn't call BG James and ask him hey should Eric do a promo this week they just let him do one <laughs> so I, I don't know that they'll ever overcome that obstacle that is uh Raw or, or, or Vince, uh, you know, or WWE, but but I think they've overcome a lot of obstacles. They've negotiated ten years worth of obstacles, and they're still running the race. So, kudos to them, man. Kudos to everything they're doing. And they're, it's not from lack of trying. They're trying to put on a good show. And if no more fans are going to turn on Spike on Thursday nights, then no more fans are going to turn on because they've given it their all. And uh, and they ain't going out of business just yet. I still wear some TNA gear.